Hey guys, this is Tona, and today we are going to be talking about the X-Men team, or some kind of X team coming next patch. Now, why am I saying this? First of all, we've already got this proof. We talked about it yesterday, potentially like an X-Force, X-Men, some kind of mutant raid team coming next patch. I'm going to be focusing on just calling it a mutant raid team. Um, it could be X-Force 2.0. There's kind of stuff about X-Force in here. Collect the superior sweater from Sinister Snowstorm. You know, there's some Sinister stuff in here as well. That could just mean, you know, Superior 6, Sinister 6. Or it could mean, you know, something to do with Mr. Sinister. Uncanny X-Cap. Frosty Family. Ruby Snow Goggles. And the Icy Extravaganza. Um, you know, that's... Cyclops goggles. We've got uh, X cap. There's lots of different characters that could, that could be. It could just be, you know, just a, a cap of some kind. Who knows? Um, either way, I wanted to not so much talk about the characters that are coming or, you know, anything like that. Just talk about Mutant Raid. Because, you know, uh, people have been starting to experience the Incursion 2 camp, uh, to Incursion 2 Raid. And from what I'm hearing, uh, it sucks in regards to the mutant section. Bio section as well, not so great, especially if you don't have a uh, Super Skrull. Rebirth kind of struggling a bit there, but Death Seed obviously struggling a bit as well. However, you know, uh, we're going to look through, we're going to go back through the looking glass and have a look at the previous ones because I think that it's important that Marvel Strike Force knows what they're doing. <laughs> Um, in regards to making money, in regards to making money, I, I think that, you know, it's pretty clear that Boundless know what they're doing and they have repeated this same thing over and over again. Uh, every, you know, every time a new raid come out, um, there has been raid teams released around the same time, which makes a lot of sense. You, you make a super difficult raid, you make it so that, you know, you need certain card, uh, certain cards. Well, I'm stuck in Magic the Gathering mode. Uh, if you don't know, I've got a Magic the Gathering channel. I'm going to put the, uh, link to it down in the comments, head over, check it out. Why not? Um. Well, that's not what we're here for. Uh, uh, certain characters, you need certain characters to be able to complete it. And usually they're released around the same time to encourage people to spend, encourage the people who are up the very, very top to go buy the new raid team and stuff. Make the raid really difficult. Make it so that Death Seed, Rebirth, you know, but whatever is happening at the time, uh, New Warriors, Secret Avengers, whatever's happening, and make it so that they have trouble clearing it and then release a release some kind of solution for it. Death Seed is just like, you know, the, the latest victim of the, the, uh, the Grim Reaper going to the doors, basically. However, you know, with this, there could just be, you know, just a general X-Men themed event. But to me, at least, as we said in the video yesterday, it's pointing towards some kind of X team coming and basically, basically around the same time as the fact that Death Seed is struggling makes a lot of sense that a raid team would be coming out. So let's have a look. So first of all, uh, we had obviously the release of Incursion this patch, and then the previous patch we had the release of the Pegasus team coming right prior to a new raid coming. There's two reasons this could be. One is that it encourages people to obviously purchase it at the time because you know tech has been struggling, but it also makes people look back because if the new t raid comes out and people haven't gone and wailed on their uh, their Pegasus team, then their Pegasus team may potentially, potentially, I'm not saying they are, potentially struggle in the new raid. Or, you know, the upper echelons of the new raid, once you need more stars or new more red stars or, you know, diamonds and stuff. So, you know, this is something that people will look at it and they're like, you know, a new raid just came out and my Pegasus team is struggling. I'm not saying they are, again, but... You know, it makes people think about the fact that they need to potentially, potentially wail on teams that are coming out. So let's go back. So first of all, we've got the fact that we had the Invaders team. The Invaders team came out uh, and in the March 15th patch. And then after that, almost directly after that, we had the release of Incursion 1. So this came May 24th. So this is one that's like, you know, they they were kind of struggling with the invaders and then they released the new raid and then people are like, well, shit, 
this is actually, you know, difficult. So I'm glad that I went into the invaders and stuff. So it's kind of like, you know, just a, a, a similar to here when we had previous patch, we had the uh, new Pegasus team came out, then the new raid came out, and then the following patch, we had the release of the Bifrost team. So the Bifrost team is essentially, uh, well, we're very heavily required for Incursion 1. And it was at the time that people were complaining, hey, my Mystic team just freaking sucks. You know, we've, we've got this kind of Mystic team kind of bolted together by, you know, uh, hopes and dreams. And they release a new Mystic team that ends up kind of being really powerful and really helpful for it. So this to me is showing like a pattern. Um, once we look at the other ones as well in, in regards to it. So we had like, you know, we had the the new team, this one being essentially the uh, the solution, like similar to incursion team. Then we had followed by, uh, sorry, similar to the Pegasus team. Then we had the new raid in the next patch after that. And then the patch after that, we had a new raid team. It worked last time. You know, people were happy that, hey, look, they fixed the, the mystic raid. This is so great and stuff. Like people loved, people loved this one. Uh, so very, you know, similar to that. All right, then we had the Doom 3 raid. This was released at the same time as they released the Bionic Avengers. So very similar, you know, people were hating the tech raid team at the time. Um, there wasn't, well, there wasn't a tech raid team at the time. Then they released one at the same time as the new Doom raid. So, you know, this is another solution is that it releases at the exact same time. Obviously that's not the case this time because this patch is around the Sinister Superior 6 rather than, you know, a raid team of some kind. But, you know, it's something to kind of keep in mind is that they released, again, another tech raid team around the same time as the raid came out. So then we had the Doom 2 raid. This came out September 2021. So Doom 2 raid, you know, around that time we were struggling with the Mystic section. Um, sorry. Yeah, the Mystic section. So we had uh, Death Pool, Cloak and Dagger, and then we're kind of piecing together as to what to kind of use with them. Uh, and they came out right before the Doom 2 raid. So then they released Icarus and Cersei, the patch after. Now, I know that this one is not actually, like not specifically a raid team. Icarus and Cersei were not specifically a raid team, just like Dormammu is not specifically a raid character either. However, they did release and they were heavily, heavily used for that Mystic Raid section. The other thing is that back here, right before this, so, you know, the um, patch 5.7 was when we got the Doom 2 Raid. We also had the solution to the skill team come out not long ago before that, two patches prior to that. We had the new skill team come out just before that. All right. Um, so from there, we had the Doom 1 raid released around January of 2021, if I recall correctly. And that was released around the same time as we got the, uh, the Longshot, Shatterstar, uh, Kitty Pride and Iceman. They released Kitty Pride and Iceman. Sorry. And then patch 5.1 was when they released uh, Jubilee and Bishop and patch 5.1, I believe was when they actually, uh, and, uh, released doom one. So again, they released a mystic raid team, uh, sorry, a mutant raid team. And that mutant raid team came right around the same time as they introduced doom one, which was when they first started splitting it up. So you needed, you know, mystics and bio and stuff like that. So they came around the same time as that. Even if we go back to like the Ultima 7 raid, they, they came out and that was around the same time as like, you know, um, some decent characters that were kind of used towards the end of that. Not so much the Ultima 7, like, you know, they, they hadn't done the split or anything yet, but there were still some decent characters that came out around the same time as that. But looking back, like, you know, at least to me, maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe we don't have a mutant team next patch. Maybe this is just a, a mutant tie-in of some kind. But to me, at least we're screaming and, you know, like to me, they're kind of heavily kind of um, like looking at the pattern, looking at the pattern. That's, that's what I do. Um, if you don't know, you know, ASD um, for me, at least it really kind of heavily focuses towards patterns, solving solutions and stuff like that. And this to me is a, a 
kind of hefty pattern, at least as far as back as Doom Raids uh, and, you know, the Incursion Raids, where they've had the split lanes kind of pointing towards these guys um, releasing raid teams around the same time. So, I don't know. May maybe everyone already knows this. Who knows? Maybe I'm wrong. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I hope you guys had a wonderful day and goodbye.